My viral TikTok got me a record deal, and this is that story. My name is Lynn Lapid, and this all started in the summer of 2019. I was 16, I really loved music, and I was just kind of casually putting covers on YouTube and some Conan Gray songs, just very bedroom pop. Nobody really saw them. It took me eight months to get to 100 subscribers. Then I started posting on TikTok and Instagram, and that's when things started to really pick up. Within a few months, I reached 10,000 followers on Instagram. Then one day, my dad was messaged by a producer. He said that he was this big, well-known producer that's worked with a lot of big artists. We started talking. He was a lot more pop, upbeat, groovy, I guess, but it's not my vibe, so uh, I just thought we didn't click that way. I was expressing that I didn't want to work with him, and I think he got a bit defensive and was starting to tell me that I wouldn't make it in the industry if I didn't follow his advice. I was like really sad for a couple of days. I was looking at my own music and I thought that none of it was good enough. I started to question, would it be silly of me to even consider trying to go into the music industry if this guy who's worked with so many successful artists tells me that I wouldn't make it if I try to do it my way? Then an idea came to me. I started to imagine like a world or reality where I followed his advice and I did get big and famous like he said. I realized that I would be unhappy and so I made a story out of it and I made it into a song. She was only 17 when pretty sir man came offering that all her dreams would come true. As soon as I finished the first verse, I posted it to TikTok the very same day and it blew up and my account was growing like crazy. I was getting like 10,000 followers every couple of hours. So then Republic Records reached out to me. At the time, I didn't really know what Republic was and I Googled them. I was like, oh my gosh, Ariana Grande is under them. And so is Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, all these big artists. I was hesitant to talk to any labels at all because of my experience with Producer Man. It took a lot of time to, you know, trust so I was connected with this producer and I found out that he was Conan Gray's producer and started working out different versions of Producer Man. What she couldn't see was he was in it for the money. Oh, oh. I released Producer Man on Spotify. 12 days after releasing it, it got to 1 million streams. I just wanted to thank everybody who supported me and gave me words of encouragement. And if the real producer man is watching right now, I'd like to thank you. I think without you telling me that I wouldn't make it, then I probably wouldn't be here right now.